Hello everyone, welcome back to the course. So this is the final video related to array methods and there are five important methods which are still remaining. So we'll talking about these five methods. So filter is basically a method which is going to filter your array and going to return a new array based on the condition that you provided inside the filter method. Then find is going to be a method which is going to return the element which is to, uh, satisfy a particular condition. Then reduce and reduce write are the methods basically which are going to loop through your entire array and perform the operation and returns a single value like performing the sum of your array. And then sorting the array is again a very important concept. So we'll talk about these methods one by one so that you can get the idea when to use these methods and then at the end we'll talk about sort method because this is very important while sorting the records in a data table or inside any other uh, custom data tables that you have developed. So first thing what we will do is let's say that we have got again we've got the fruits element okay uh, or what we'll say that let's say we have got a number array so we'll say that numbers and here we will have some sort of numbers whatever the numbers we wanted to have provide so these are the few arrays okay this is these are the few numbers that we have now what we wanted to have is we wanted to filter all the elements which are greater than 10 inside a new array so how we will do that we will say that okay let new numbers okay we will say that we have got the numbers which is basically going to be our array so that numbers dot filter it takes one parameter which is going to be a function and this is function is going to be the same like it is going to accept same number of parameters which your sum or your every or your for each methods are basically accepting so what are those one is current value then another one is index then it is original array these are the three elements if you want to pass these two you can pass if you don't want to pass these two are the optional parameters now what you will say is you'll say that okay return if the current value is greater than 10 so what it will do is basically it will iterate with your array which is numbers find out what are all the elements which are greater than 10 and it is going to return a new array for you now if you say that new numbers this is your array and you will see that only the elements which are greater than 10 you are able to see inside your new numbers so basically this filter method is useful whenever you have some sort of values inside an array and you want it to filter those values into a new array based on a certain condition that's what we have seen as an example now if we talk about let's say that we talk about a find element we need to find an exact element so how you will find that so let's quickly say that here we've got the same over here so we'll say that uh, a fruit name because we are going to iterate with this array which is fruits let's say that fruits dot find now what we'll say that if current value is equal to orange okay we wanted to find out if there is uh, an element with the orange or not okay hit enter and you will say that fruit name and you will find an orange over here this is a very simple example that I have shown you but in your LWC what you might be getting is uh, you have a list of contact or account records okay now based on whenever user is clicking on any particular record you want to find the complete information about that record how you will do is when user will be clicking on that record you will say you will find a record ID you will say that select record ID whatever the record ID that you will be having over here okay then you have you will be having the contact array or account array so you'll say that contact list whatever the list you have and then you will use a find method to find the element to find the correct contact record based on the selected record ID that you have so how you will find that if I say over here this is just an again just an example you'll say that find now you will say that current value dot ID because this will be a, a record and you will say that if that is equivalent to the particular record ID that you have selected then return that name so you you will say that contact record that is how you will be using in your LWC we have also used that so you don't need to worry about that you don't need to worry 
uh, about that uh, for now we have already used that and we have also explained that everything in single details so this is about find and filter methods of your array now we have got basically the reduce method okay so we have got the numbers we wanted to basically get the sum of arrays sum of so what you will say that let sum now what you you will do is you will say that numbers dot reduce okay now this method also accept same thing like callback functions so what callback function is now what this function basically accept okay so basically this function accept two values if you see callback function and initial value so let's say that initial value is always going to be zero this function accept four parameters there is one more parameter which is known as accumulator okay and then all three parameters are same it is going to be current value index and original array so there is only one extra parameter which is saying that accumulator and by default whatever value you provide here say that zero so by default the value is going to be zero for that accumulator that is what it is saying that initial value when you select the array over here now if you wanted to return what you can return is you can say that return uh, or what you can say is you can say that let's quickly have we have got accumulator okay so we'll say that accumulator equal to accumulator plus current value what you have and then you can return this accumulator now what happens every time this accumulator is getting updated for the first time it will take zero and then after it will take uh, whatever the values it has like uh, uh, after zero it is going to be 23 and then it is uh, adding going to add 23 with 34 all these values are getting added and then you it is going to be updated every time if you try to print some okay we got 53 so it is basically this is the first thing which uh, this is the first one or oh, sorry the last element which we have got like 0 plus 53 so we just need to modify our method so instead of using like uh, having an assignment for accumulator basically that was uh, uh, getting into the different things what was the different thing is what here we were using like accumulator equal to uh, accumulator plus current value so what where it was basically doing is it was using zero and then whatever the current value it was it was returning that now what actually we need to return over here we need to return accumulator plus current value so what exactly happens over here right let's quickly print and so that we can also get uh, what exactly is happening so we'll say that print a log so we'll say that accumulator okay so basically this is the value that we have and then we are also going to print one thing which is going to be having our current value so we'll say that okay now uh, this is current value now print over here so you see here by default accumulator uh, i think uh, we need to print some sort of uh, uh, correct sorry or some string so that we can find out what exactly accumulator is and what our current value is so now you can see here accumulator is zero current value is 23 for the first time okay now what it will do is it will add 0 plus 23 okay then it will find accumulator is 23 this time why it is saying that 23 because we have got the array uh, which is basically having 23 and then 0 so 23 0 is 23 current value is 34 now it will add accumulator with current value it is saying that 23 plus 34 and then it will find uh, this time accumulator is 57 then one uh, one uh, like 144 if you add this it is going to be at 57 if you add these two it is going to be 144 it, if you add these two it is going to be 146 like that if you add these two you get uh, sorry uh, if you add these two you will basically get uh, th these two the last two if you add you will get 257 so if you add some you will say it is getting giving you 257 so basically that is what your reduce method does now what this reduce method is basically having is it is running from left to right so if you print your numbers array you'll see here it is running from left to right okay now if you wanted to run from right to left from here to here so how you will do that for that you have got a reduce right method and everything is going to be same and you can see here this time now it is running from here 53 53 and then at the end it is saying that 23 and the result is going to be same as 257 so this is how basically your reduce and reduce write method works you might not use these methods inside your uh, lwc 
but you might get this method if you are preparing for javascript developer one certificate you might get some sort of questions around this and the thing that you need to remember is the first element is always going, uh, going to be accumulator second is going to be current value so this is about your reduce and reduce right now let's talk about this uh, sort number so if we say that sort we have got a sort method numbers and if you try to sort numbers you can see it is sorting in 2 23 there is no orders it's still uh, it's still the numbers are not being sorted so how we can sort so to sort this sort the arrays basically it accept one optional parameter which is also a compare function it takes two parameter element a and element b if you talk about compare function this is basically going to specify in which order you want it to sort your array so it takes first element it takes second elements and this is basically the outcome of your how your arrays are going to be sorted if your compare function a and b is returning value greater than 0 that means your element b is going to be uh, before element a you can see here that is why it is saying over here if it is less than or equal to 0 that means 0 or minus 1 your element are going to be in the same order that means a and b in going to be in the same order so basically this is basically uh, the simple things now let's quickly talk about first we'll talk about starting the array of numbers and then we'll talk about sorting the arrays which contains the objects and that objects are containing both a string and numbers so we have got this number okay so what we will do is we'll say that numbers dot sort and here it takes one function which is compare function we'll say that function and what we will have is let's say that we are going to say that okay a comma b element a is going to be 1 and b is going to be 23 and then what we will basically return if it is a number you can just quickly say that return a minus b okay and that's it and now if you see here numbers okay these are still not sorted oh sorry it is saying that a equal to b instead of a minus b so we will say that it is a minus b so now you can see here the numbers are sorted in increasing order like 2 5 23 34 now if you wanted to Start in descending order you might want it to reverse the elements you can say that b minus a and you can sort your uh, numbers your array in the descending order you can see at 7 53 and then you have got 53 34 23 5 and 2 so this is about your start and a compare function that we are using and this function you will be using like regularly in your uh, uh, real time projects because you will not be getting the numbers right there you will not be getting uh, a simple array to sort now to sort this okay let's say that we have got a variable a list of items okay where we've got uses and their ages we've got the items now if you wanted to sort the items by a number so how you will uh, how you will do that this is very simple thing now we have got two things right we've got name and value so we have to tell in which particular property in which particular element we wanted to sort so we have received one element which say that a and b we say that a dot value based on the value we are sorting over here and we say that b dot value whatever it is greater just go ahead and sort that if you say that items okay uh, even we've got this sorted array if you say items now it is like uh, in the ascending order sorry uh, yeah in the, in the ascending order we've got minus 12 13 21 like this now if you have a requirement to start based on an a string an a string parameter which is saying that name how you will do that if you try to do this let's quickly try to have this a dot name minus b dot name try to do this you say that it is basically on same order which it was earlier it is not doing anything okay even if you try to reverse this order you say that okay i'm going to say that b dot name and you say that a dot name and if you try to see that the array order again it is the same there is nothing happening okay so in in order to sort the array of objects based on an a string value what you have to do is you have to use another way okay another way is this where what we are doing is we are saying that okay we have got a name element we either we can use in uppercase or lowercase and that is why we are just saying that ignore these values okay now what we say that if name a is less than name b okay now what we are comparing over here is unicode values 
okay if, if say that if name a is greater than name b we need to say that okay minus 1 if name a is greater than b b should be started before a we'll say that return 1 otherwise names must be equal we say that return 0 and if we hit enter and if you say this you will say that now it is starting in alphabet order. so that is how you sort your values based on now if you wanted to have you can just reverse the syntax and then uh, the magic will happen okay so basically this is how your array sort method works and this is it about all the array methods that we had thank you for your time and uh, in the coming in the coming videos we'll actually type or talk about what are the functions how to create the functions how we can work with the javascript functions thank you